Abbott Cellar is what everyone would consider going out to for their anniversary, for their you know, birthday, take their wife out on a nice date. We were busy right out of the gate. Michael Bauer gave us a three-star review just a couple months in. I mean, if you can do that, usually it's like, all right, now we're good. And then followed that up with Top 100 restaurant the following May. And we felt we were really close. And if we didn't see the wage increase coming, it wouldn't have taken much of a jump in volume to get back in the black and make it sustainable long term. When you basically tell an entire service industry that, OK, this year you've got to raise the wages of your company by 14%. And then for the next three years, you've got to raise them at least 7%. How are businesses that have practically no margins as is, mom and pop shops, small businesses, places that two, 3% margins, how are they supposed to just absorb that? You don't look at the owners of restaurants driving around fancy cars. You know, they're, they're, they're usually in there working right alongside. I definitely support a living wage, but the problem is you're raising costs for business owners, but at the same time, the cost of the product that they're producing isn't necessarily going to go up, so that you've basically shrunk any kind of profit that they can make. We just had a very lively holiday season. New Year's Eve had been really busy, just like it was the year before, really busy. And uh, he said that they were closing their doors, and I, I, I remember gasping and hearing gasps and I thought I'm going to be out of a job at the end of the month and I'm going to be out of one of my favorite jobs I've ever had. It was kind of devastating. San Francisco is a city that seems like it's supposed to be built on kind of a bohemian, small business, mom and pop type vibe. That's the culture of the city. And I worry that the change that's happening is going to take away from the great culture that was here. And I know change is part of everything, that's the world, that's life, but I worry that proper thought is not being put into the change that they're affecting and how that impacts things. And I wish a little bit more thought would be put into the long-term impact.